Stakey students, some Grandview High School kids are recovering after someone T-boned their school bus on the way home from a track meet. 41 Action News reporter Alyssa Donovan spoke to the boys that were on the bus about what happened. All I remember is tire screeches and us being in the air and everything was going in slow motion. Rashad Buckles and his teammates were on the way back from a track meet on Saturday night when their bus was T-boned by a minivan. I watched the van hit us and then I just grabbed onto the seat and we were rolling and I was just wondering like, am I about to die? I opened my eyes and I see this dude across from me, um, Xavier like fly up and I tried to grab them. That's why my wrist is kind of sprained. The bus rolled three times, tossing the boys into the air before it landed on its side off Highway 50 near Lone Jack. Eight people were hurt. When I first got off, like I got on my knees and I just started praying. As the boys crawled off the bus, they noticed some teammates laying in the grass. I wasn't able to move at first. My legs were like locked up. My whole body was locked up, so I just laid there. A good Samaritan pulled over to help, calling Buckle's mother from his cell phone. She said, well, you know, the bus was in an accident. He's okay. I'm here with him, you know, keeping him calm until the paramedics arrive. She and her husband rushed to the scene. I was driving, but I was just automatically praying, you know. Let my son be okay. Let my son be okay. Let everybody be okay. Down the road on another bus, the girls' track coach got word of the crash. He says, we lost the boys' bus and they've been in a major accident. Abigail Waits immediately called her good friend Rashad. I was so relieved that he picked up the phone just to know that he's okay and he's talking, but the terror in his voice, it was, it was sad. The driver of the minivan ran from the scene, but was later taken into custody, arrested for DWI. He deserves a maximum penalty he can possibly get out of this because you know, he could have killed somebody. The boys say they feel traumatized and can't stop thinking about what happened and what they saw, but they're grateful their team made it out alive. Thank God for letting me live and seeing, at least seeing everybody get out. I'm Alyssa Donovan, 41 Action News.